Hey everybody, so what we have here is a Vero's Raspberry Pi Zero W basic starter kit. If you're not already familiar with the Raspberry Pi Zero W, it's basically a $10 computer that you can use for a bunch of cool projects. So this was the best Raspberry Pi Zero W starter kit that I could find on Amazon. So if you guys are interested in this kit, I will leave a link down in the description below. You can pick one up yourself. All right, without further ado, let's unbox this and I'll show you guys what comes in the starter kit. All right, first of all, let's start with the computer itself, the Raspberry Pi Zero W, and here it is. As you can see right here, this computer is tiny, and coming in at only $10, you get a lot of bang for your buck with this. Now, if we compare the Raspberry Pi Zero to the full-size Raspberry Pi, you see quite a big difference in size, as you can see here. And because of the small size of the Raspberry Pi Zero, you're not going to get the full-size USB ports and Ethernet connection, as well as the full-size HDMI. So before moving forward, why don't we take a look at the different ports on the Raspberry Pi Zero W. So first of all, the Raspberry Pi Zero W comes with built-in wireless and Bluetooth. That is what the W stands for. So you might still see the original Raspberry Pi Zero sold out there that doesn't have the wireless. So I do recommend that you get the Raspberry Pi Zero W versus the old version that doesn't have the wireless because that's gonna make things easier for a lot of projects. Okay, so taking a look at the front ports, right here we do have a mini HDMI connector. And then we have two micro USB connectors. So turning it over on this side, we do have the micro SD slot here. And this is important because this is where you're going to put your operating system for your computer. And on this side right here, what you see is the connector for an external camera. And you pretty much slip a little cable in here and then connect that cable to the camera. And on the right hand side here, you see all these pins that are for the GPIO connector. That's going to be the input output interface for this for more advanced projects. But for most projects, I would say that you're not going to use this. So if you remember at the beginning of this video, I told you that I recommend getting some accessories for this because you may ask yourself, well, where do I connect my HDMI monitor? After all, the HDMI cable that connects to your monitor is too big to fit in here. Also, where are you going to connect your keyboard or mouse? These are micro USB where a keyboard uses full size USB. Okay, so now let's take a look at the Vero's starter kit to see what accessories we get. They're going to help us connect our external devices to this. All right, so this is something very important for your Raspberry Pi Zero W that you're gonna need for most projects. You're gonna need to power your Raspberry Pi Zero. So you can accomplish that with this included wall adapter. As you can see the tip here, it is a micro USB connector. And the cool thing I like about this power adapter is that it has a switch for on and off. Oftentimes with my old uh, Raspberry Pi here, I had to unplug the Raspberry Pi and that was just a pain because all these little circuits on it, you know, you don't want to touch it with your hands. So yeah, once you plug in the power adapter to the Raspberry Pi Zero, you don't want to be unplugging it to turn off the power. That's where this switch is really useful. You can turn it on and off just with the flip of a switch. I really like that Vero's included that with their wall adapter. Now the other cool thing is that Vero's includes a case to protect your Raspberry Pi Zero. So let's take a look at that. So there's three different items that comes as part of the case. Let's take a look at each one. So this is the first piece right here. Then we have another piece that looks like the top cover. So this is where the GPIO ports would stick out. So if you can imagine the pins, they would be sticking out right there and you would connect whatever you needed to up here. And this is the third piece. So here we see the important part. This is the base. So this is what protects your Raspberry Pi Zero, uh, but does provide holes for the ports. Okay, so if we open up this case here, we do have some additional things. This right here is the two-sided set of pins for the GPIO port. They do give you some small rubber feet for the bottom of the case. And this is a small ribbon cable for the external camera. So yeah, basically they give you this one base and you get your choice of three different tops. For example, this is one where if you would use the pins and you needed to access the GPIO port, you use this top. If, for example, you needed more space inside of the case, so if you had additional things on the Raspberry Pi Zero, you could put this taller case here. So you can see right here. But yeah, pretty cool. Just putting the Raspberry Pi Zero in the cases we see here. And then we can just put the standard case on top. And this is pretty much what it would look like. 
It's going to protect your Raspberry Pi Zero pretty well. You also get this small heat sink that would go right on top of this chip here to cool it off in case it gets hot. So really cool that they included that. Sometimes your Raspberry Pi Zero might get a little hot depending on how much processing it's doing. And you also get this HDMI adapter which converts your mini HDMI connection on your Raspberry Pi Zero to a full size HDMI connection. So that way you can hook this up to your monitor no problem. It just goes in here just like that. So finally one of the most important things you get in this kit is this on the go USB adapter which converts your micro USB to a full size USB connection. So you can hook up your peripherals such as a USB keyboard. That way you can set up your Raspberry Pi Zero and get going. Okay, and one great thing about the starter kit is it includes a one year warranty for all the parts in the starter kit. So anything goes wrong, you can reach out to Burrows and they'll probably just get it replaced for you. All right, so if you're at home bored and wanna get started on a cool Raspberry Pi Zero project, go ahead and pick up this starter kit because it has everything you're gonna need to get started. And again, I will leave a link down in the description so you can pick yours up. Till the next video, I'll see you then.